Hello and welcome to the uh, May 31st, 2018 Cable Advisory Board meeting. Stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cable. Tonight we're going to, basically we're having a meeting for a um to give the viewing public in the town of hampton a update on the studio upgrade uh how it's coming along when it's going to be installed and for that we're going to i'm going to turn it over to rick because rick's been uh doing this from the beginning and uh he is our um, media coordinator director okay okay go ahead rick um well um as you know, we put out a, um, a proposal uh, to the uh, industry. Um, they came back. Um, we had three bids come back. We sent it out to 10 different uh, vendors. Um, some of the, the vendors who, who came back um, only did sections of it, which uh, we had purposely did um, uh, when we put it out, because not all vendors do everything. That we were asking for um, but as it ended up the lowest bid was one that did all four of the items um, so uh, we're basically doing an upgrade to um, the television system itself the video system to HD um, from the current analog system um, we're replacing um, the audio system that um, is become uh, uh, problematic, especially the wireless system um, because of uh, the FCC rules. Um, we're replacing um, the, we're adding studio lighting in here so that that's the third option, this lighting um, into here so uh, we get better quality pictures. And then the fourth one is some AV um, enhancements to the actual chamber itself. Um, which include um, <coughs> cable cubbies on these tables so that it'll be easier for um, the um, Board of Selectmen and other committees to actually plug in along with um, the other table up front. Um, better viewing for um, the audience area um, by including a 65 inch TV on both sides of the, of the room. Uh, and better sound in the back and zone sound which is something that um, at one time this system had um, but unfortunately over the years I'm afraid um, the uh, digital signal processor that um, handled that um, went out of service um, no longer supported by the vendor um, the software was um, as a matter of fact XP <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it tells you yeah. Something. so you couldn't make any changes to it you couldn't fix it you couldn't do anything with it so um, it, it has been stopped you being used um, so um, these are the kind of, of upgrades that we uh, proposed um, and um, those upgrades were accepted um, I think the whole total package came to about two hundred and sixty thousand dollars plus change um, for all of that. Um, the schedule right now is that um, the uh, vendor is um, actually kind of is his own schedule is such that um, he's very busy later in the summer of this year. So his intent is to be in here um, the last week of June, first week of July and be done. So um, we've kind of got moved up, if you will, to the top, top of the list mm -hmm. on his on his to get that finished before his other project. Um, so a little a little more detail about the schedule. Um, we do have some electrical work that has to be done in the room. Uh, we also have some air conditioning work, which is a good thing. Um, as those of you who have run the operations back there are aware um, the air conditioning 
in this room um, tends to provide, especially this duct right here, um, provides a nice big hum to all these microphones. Uh, it's going away. Um, the reason for that is actually the lighting track um, goes about where this one is and then but comes down the center. So um, that, has to, that has to be moved out of the way. So we're going to fix two, two birds with one stone there um, and end up with a better, uh, hopefully a better sound quality in here uh, for uh, the audience and um, of course uh, better lighting. Um, electrician is going to be here on the 18th and 19th of June. Uh, the air conditioning folks right now is, is still unscheduled or unconfirmed, but we're working on the 14th and 15th for them to come in. Um, so they're in, in it ahead of um, the electrician. So everything's going to be happening here in the next couple of, um, in the next three, four weeks. A lot, to, a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. um, Part of our plan includes moving down, moving the, getting rid of the projector will go. The screen's going to go. This track right here for the curtain um, is going to go. We're going to go ahead and take it down. Um, reason for that is, is uh, it hasn't been used in 10 years. Sure. Uh, once these tables um, have the new ADA compliant um, raceways, they'll be bolted to the floor. So. You, it would be very, very difficult to move these tables. So this is not going to be a convenient area to use as, as any kind of other production. Um, later on, if we decide that we need a, another production area, my suggestion is we'll go back to that to the far end of this room and use that area for for that type of stuff. What's work. the status with this table? Hmm? As far as being bolted down? Um, the, the ADA, uh, compliant raceway will attach to that and will attach to this table and it'll go from there to there. Yeah, it will. So they're will not going to be able to move it for the budget. They're well, that's, have to that's go what I'm thinking. Beside it, but they'll have to leave that where it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much you can do. Not much we can do about it. Okay. That. No, I was just curious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as the budget committee is, is smaller now, they could they could maybe move back in. They don't have to be so. As well as up. the uh, Beach Area Commission, we've been setting up one table yeah. here. Yeah. So we didn't have to straddle the raceway. Right. Well, yeah. that'll be gone. So yeah, this yeah. this this raceway goes away. But one table was enough to do them. I'm wondering if I had one table enough to do the budget committee. Could be maybe over on that's whatever side you choose you think is better. And we'll we're we'll thinking either getting a new table with uh, matching uh, top, something brown maybe, so it sure. doesn't doesn't reflect so much, or get a a cloth to go over one mm -hmm. of the existing tables. Right. It'll look a lot better. There is a, 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 coupled with the two, two TVs on the walls over here, the 65 inch TVs for the audience to view, um, the, the committee members sitting at this table right in front of that um, desk will be another TV for them to view. Um, there's only two ways really to uh, in the industry to resolve having them have a good view. Well, there's three ways that I can think of. Um, one would be to hang monitors on the ceiling, and in this ceiling that would not be appropriate. Um, the second would be to actually mount something on each table um, in front of them, something small. Um, and nobody which, was which isn't feasible, especially for the planning board. Yeah. Well, it's not really a good idea, period, for right. uh, because of the, the the nature of these tables. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. There, it'd be in your way. And then the third way would be to have something that actually sits and, and tilts up to them. Get so rid of that that's TV. That's where we went. That TV is gone. Okay. That TV goes away in the back. Okay. There will be a um, to replace that. Um, there will be an on-air light mounted um, on this wall over here um, near the door that won't let everybody, the, the operator will control to let everybody know that they're on the air. Outside as well as inside the room? Hmm? Both outside and inside? Outside and inside, correct. Okay. So the uh, two TVs on either side, 
the projector goes away, if someone has like the presentation to do with a laptop or something like that, it'll just feed right into those TVs? Actually, the operator will control that, um, but uh, the cable cubbies or yeah. pop-ups that, um, that I described earlier yeah. have an HDMI, HDMI okay. power, um, Ethernet, and a USB charging station in each one. So um, you'll flip the lid open. It just <coughs> sticks up about this much uh, once it turns back in. Um, plug your laptop into it. Plug in your HDMI. Um, the operator in the back will be able to select that particular Just like cubby. we select this. Hmm? this just like we select the, the uh, <coughs> projector. projector now. We yeah, probably select movie. that particular. No, there's, there's four of them. So you could actually have three people or four people plugged in. And you select the one that you want. They can all be the having input, okay. displays, and you can go, well, we'll put his on, well, we'll put theirs on. Okay. Oh, so right. it's, it'll be that. Yeah. But it won't be that. I mean, it'll be, I think, easily. I mean, it's, it's going to be a learning curve for all of us. No, it's it shouldn't be, be too bad. More, but it, no. no. Yeah. It, it, there's going to be some learning curve here. That, you know, this is, this, the technology has changed quite significantly yeah. uh, from the analog days. Oh, sure. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, but, so you select the, the TV. Um, or the, the computer you want, yeah. um, it will uh, show up um, in the switcher. Yeah. It will also, um, when it shows up in the switcher, the two monitors over here on the, each side yeah. will be controlled by um, what, uh, there's, two ox, there's three oxes out of the switcher. Okay. So you'll be able to say, okay, I want that HDMI to go to those two. And you could even have something separately going to this monitor here. Okay, nice. So again, that's, that's the operator's responsibility to yep. do that stuff. Um, but it gives you some flexibility. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, good. Um, the new system, um, you know, again, we're getting into way more details probably than the audience needs to know about or, or would we care about or really understand. but. Um, the system will have patch panels and routers, um, so you'll be able to route your signals around um, in the in the building uh, without uh, having to go back and try to find wires and because you know that works fine for about a month and then the wires start getting becoming a mess <laughs> and you know sure. the, no more no more going behind the racks no more no more of that kind of work so. Yeah. Huge step forward. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, I believe so. It yeah. sounds like you've been working very hard on this. Yes. You got everything lined up. It's a ton of work, and yeah, I, it is. It sounds. Yeah, the really, hard part uh, is the coordination to be quiet. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and figure out. Luckily, he figured out that we need to move these air ducts. Right. And he got all that lined up before they're coming because. You miss them, and then you now you now we're pushed back months. Sure. So you have to get it. You know, instead of what we thought would be late September, is now late June. That's so, what I was thinking, right? Right. We're going to have to do probably uh, a few um, meetings. We're going to I'm going to we're going to have to do a meeting down at the police station, the final one. That we're was going to be my other question. We are going to do that one. That, is, that will be the last uh, one. Yeah, because we are inconveniencing them. So we I will. Would, it, what is that for? That's for the HBAC, yeah. okay, and they need, they think they're going to have a crowd, so they don't think they'll fit in the oh, is that fire another, station, another so we'll do one hearing? there, we'll do one there, the last one there, so. <coughs> yeah, there's, there's actually three meetings that are impacted that we just, we, we couldn't, either couldn't um, uh, shuffle or move off to, to someplace else that, yeah. um, that had to have some kind of a public space um, that we're going to be required to support. So uh, one is the conservation committee. Um, they're going to, um, which is just an audio record only, and to begin okay. with. Um, but they use generally use this room. They're going to set up tables upstairs, and do it in the lobby area. We'll just have to provide them an audio support to record the, um, the, their meeting so that they have, have a record of it. We don't normally do it to them. Do we? Well, they just use the room, and they use. The, he actually bought a new piece of equipment for them. 
<coughs> to record that, which is pretty yeah. interesting as it is in the, its own. The present way of doing it is that they turn all the mics on in the room. Um, they use one of the ADA um, uh, little headsets. The hearing you know, the, the receivers. Yeah. Okay. And they plug plug it into a computer. It's not. It's not really balanced to do that correctly, so they sort of get audio out of it. It, it suffice, but it is very it's difficult sometimes for them to understand. Um, we just replaced that with a um, M, um, MP3 recorder um, <laughs> that um, is actually a cool little box that costs hardly nothing. Is that the Denon box that's yeah. in there? Yep, that's it. Yeah. Um, it um, using a little SD card, a 32 yeah. gig SD card, um, 227 hours of meetings, <laughs> of audio, audio meetings. Yeah. On so it. it's a great, another great backup for, you know, what if we lost something? What's most important is that strictly is the audio, audio, though. Strictly audio. Yeah, it's strictly audio. So it's not yeah, like we'll the chase backup. cam where it can do both. No. no, we'll have other things to do that. This is strictly okay. for like the conservation commission and people who yeah, want and, to video. Yeah, and for the recreation committee, and we can record, use it as a as a backup for the if we had a, any somehow, other meeting right. as well at the just, same time. Because the audio is what's important, the actual audio. Of the well, a lot of people do minutes off of just the audio. Right, exactly, right. exactly. And they'll be able to go home, get into this, because it'll be accessible through the web. And they'll just say, okay, they have, they all have a certain password, da da da, and then they'll, they'll grab their mm. from right there. And they don't have to come in, they don't have to. And it was, yeah, like you said, it's yeah. very inexpensive and they can slick. actually do it right on the network here. So it's yeah, and they all so. can have access to it. It's not, you know, so that's a cool little box. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one meeting that we got to support. The other meeting is is on the second of July. Um, the um, Board of Selectmen um, feel uh, they've got because the decisions of the pipe going from yeah. the beach sure. to, um, is is such an issue with the state yeah. um, that they're not going to be able to move that meeting. Sure. So uh, what mm -hmm. we've agreed to do is um, they they understand that in all likelihood in this room uh, the ceiling's going to half the ceiling's going to be down and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Uh, certainly all the cameras and. All of that's gone, um, so we're going to do it with one camera, record it, um, put some mics on the table, just like we will upstairs, and it's like we're doing a, a meeting outside. Mm -hmm. Right. It and won't be. We'll, it won't be live. We'll, right. We will we'll not be live. Because we're losing our electronics to be gone. Right. Until, right. Yeah. So, but it'll be recorded and mm -hmm. played as soon so as possible. So all those meetings um, through that two-week period have already been warmed. Yeah. Okay. It's at the yeah. end of the month where we usually yes. don't have uh, We've much. got work to do from that, but they, they're all aware of it. They, they've all agreed to it. Mm -hmm. so. it's, a, it's the best time is that time. Well, the last week of the month is right. just one meeting. Usually one meeting. And then, and then it's usually the following, the, the, the next first week of the month is starts mm -hmm. getting busy again. Right, well, right. Yeah. And, and you, you've got the 4th of July. Um, which um, most meetings have been canceled except for that board of selectmen meeting. And I can, I, if if you know, for some reason it needs to get on quick, I can ask uh, John. Which I guess he didn't get my text. He changed his number. I, I don't know. Um, see if they can put on thirteen, and we'll tell people. We'll direct people to channel thirteen. Okay. You know, put on the select. If it's an important meeting, needs to be seen. You know, and we can't get it on for a week because whatever whatever reason, mm -hmm. yeah. we'll I'll ask him. I'm sure they will. They'll they'll put have that a meeting. contingency in case. Yeah, well, they can put it on that so it can right. be viewed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, would it uh, be able to be put on the web? Yes. Um, no, because that's going to be gone too. Okay. So okay. that'll have to be that'll that's be all tied new. into the electronics. That's tied. It'll be a new a new system. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we can transfer things yeah. over, but it'll. The, 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 the old system will continue to operate actually no, it's um, you know the the Nexus system that lives at the fire station will continue to work until such time as we're ready to to take to it off, to yeah. transition we do not have to do it one day and just say you know okay that's it because we're actually the one of the issues that was brought to, to both Brian and my attention um, when we first started talking about the HD was that um, Paul's IT systems over at the fire station 
uh, was in desperate need of more room um, in the rack. So um, he asked us to give him either more rack space or purchase him a new rack um, as part of the upgrade. After looking at it, we came up with a plan that the new television system would go into a new rack which would not affect our current playback system in his rack. Um, and then when we transition over to the new system, um, then we shut down the old system and, plug it into the and we unbolt it and well, ah, all the rack space you want. Right. Um, nice. So he gets the whole rack. Yeah. Um, so we can go on, we could stay on almost right up to the, the point of switching over. I mean, it, there's no reason. We can stay on, yeah, we can stay on as long as we want to down convert right. from or HD. Even if, or even if we just ran, yeah, yeah. ran movies, yeah. And, um, and yeah. Uh, for the audience, I should make it clear that we chose to go to HD not because um, it's the latest and greatest thing. Um, I know we've had some comments that why go HD when you could do, when Comcast won't do HD, um, but the reality was is when looking at the market um, at its present uh, uh, situation in the television market and the equipment out there, um, digital HD is not significantly different than standard definition. As such, the vendor, a camera, an SD camera costs you $5,000. And an HD camera costs you $5,050. It's not a significant difference, and a matter of fact, in the long run, it's a bigger savings to go HD. So that was also true of switchers. Um, I was only able to find um, video production switchers. I found three on the market that of that were SD only. It makes, that was it. Three. I don't think it makes any sense. Same price to go that HD, way a box of HD. Nowadays, it doesn't make any sense to do that, anyways. Well, you'd be three or four years from now, you would not be able to replace that box. So. You know, you'd be right back to, to spending more, doubling your cost. You um, mentioned also that the actually the picture going out should be better. Well, it won't be uh, right now. We, we it won't be HD. It won't be HD, but it'll be more. It'll be a better picture. Correct. It um, will be HD on the VOD and on the streaming service. Yes. So that's so but not to the not, not to on channel cable subscribers. Right. Yeah, but it'll be a, but it'd be a better picture than we have now. A significantly better picture because what we have yeah. now is And that's not really determined by us, that's determined by Comcast. Right. But I mean we've had so this this system now, and I think we've talked about this, is has been the way it's configured. It it, it goes in S D, goes out digital. I mean it goes in um, analog maybe goes to digital back to analog back to you know and it's just going back and forth and like you that's why it's so degraded by the time it gets out right. because i mean i've seen uh northampton's you know i was at a i was at a dealership in northampton and i said oh let me see what they they have on theirs i turned it on and it's a much better picture mm -hmm. than what we have much better and it's it's because his go his is hd uh, but it also goes from there out not like ours that goes here, that, 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 right. that, that, in this cluster we have. Well, this is why I kind of mentioned it, so people would actually, will see an improvement, even they though will. it's they, not a high they, definition uh, No, it, they should channel. see a vast improvement. Right. And, and with the lighting, you won't get the, the shadows we have. You, I can see it on the TV, the shadows behind and, and uh, the dark spots. You should, it should be better. I mean, we're, they're, they're the professionals, and mm -hmm. I'm not, definitely so. And... Um, Hopefully, they, you know, they'll take care of all that. The only place that this will ever hit standard definition will be just before the transmitter that sends it via fiber to Exeter's Comcast head end. Right. That's 
they Instead only the, poised. Yeah, right, because right. it, it, now it, it goes back and forth. It goes through a lot of things. So, which you Rick explained to me months ago, and that's why, because I couldn't understand why we have such poor quality, but, you know, the monitors look great. If you look at the monitors out back, it's a beautiful picture. It's not the cameras, but it's all the all the transitions it goes through before it gets to it gets to the head end. Right. That degrades it. And Rick, having near 40 years in the television industry, does know this a lot. You know, so explaining it to me uh, it took a while, but yeah, I, I understand what he's talking about. Why this is it's such a poor makes camera. sense. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think I've touched on, uh, we've touched on um, schedule. I uh, should mention uh, to the audience that, um, again, just like all technologies, you know, computers have got better, um, you know, at the same price. Everything, you know, does a little more, a lot more now than what it did when we first went, when they first went with the system that, that exists here in Channel 22. Um, I'm not making any promises at this point, um, but the capability of the new video server um, and um, the what's called a carousel, which is kind of a, a streaming service uh, and um, digital signage service, um, will allow us to, to do some things that certainly um, at a lower price that we're not capable of doing at this time. So. Um, for instance, uh, you know the weather, um, the weather um, on the screen, uh, the um, the local weather of Hampton, and, and along with maybe a, even a camera from the beach during snowstorms, or and a lot of stuff like that has we have that potential uh, that we could not do now um, with those servers. Um, we also have added um, an ed editing station um, to the system. Um, now, uh, meetings, of course, uh, have to be non-edited, um, the content, mm -hmm. but certainly uh, we could fix some of the beginnings, fix some of the ends. Uh, when we do have audio problems with, with some of our setups, we'll be able to um, take hums out, that kind of thing that um, we have not been able to do up to now, um, which uh, again should help with with the viewership um, mm -hmm. uh, ability to uh, gain the information. Um, and other than that, that's probably about it. Okay. For, for my all right thank you yeah I'll give you an idea of what we're, what we're playing with. good okay um another thing that i it just came to me uh uh we have um you know some people want to know about us having a budget and, and we will put together a budget he's rick has been working on this he, he's only part-time that's all he's allowed to be so he's been working on this and this takes up the majority of his time trying to get all this uh, taking care of plus all the problems that, that arise during the week. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to do. Yeah, and he's done a great job. I mean, more than I could have ever done, or I think as a committee we could have done, because we don't have the knowledge. I, I'll be right out there. I agree. You know, it's, it's what we, it's not what we do all the time. But we will come up with a budget. We need to get the service plans, all the, all the new costs of uh, the, you know, the, uh, the VOD. You know, it's going to be more, it's going to be a different price and all that. And, uh, mm -hmm. And some other things they were, you know, that so we can have an accurate. We do have like a, what we've spent or an average. I have one right here that the, uh, the finance director printed up, and of course we could go by that, but uh, we don't know what this is going to cost because this is a totally different company. It's not electronics. It's it's tightrope, and uh, we don't know what they're going to charge, and uh, and I don't think it's going to be much different, but. You know, mm -hmm. and what other added costs we're going to have for uh, for this new system because it's a vast upgrade and uh, and not as simple as what we have now. Now, in terms of the budget going forward to after the upgrade, all the equipment is going to be brand new, right. shiny, right, under warranty. Right. We're not going to have to worry about anything for a bit for yeah. quite some time. Right. But are we going to make some type of consideration for new equipment 
well down the road. Down the road, well, to replace things. Well, that that I don't know if we that you're not allowed to uh, have a piggy bank or or a. Uh, a but bank if account, you, it's it, a capital improvement it's a, fund, yeah. if you want to call it that. Right. I mean, it'd be nice if you could put X amount of dollars away every every time we get a, fine, a check from Comcast. Right. So we could plan for the, the next group of people 10 years down the line. Sure. Like are doing if we this. said in seven years, right. you might replace this thing. Right. Just some sort of, it, yeah, it, like a CIP type thing. Right. It, yeah, it's just complicated with this. Uh, right. That's... Uh, with this uh, account, the way it's designed, right? You know, you spend, you get it, you spend it. It's not like, well, we got to save up for this. You just got to have it in there. It's like we we can't borrow money. We have to save the money and then expend right. it. Right. So and then you know a lot of people don't like to see a lot of money in there, and uh, for the for that reason, you know, they don't want to. And I understand sure. that. Money's you know, there's, not there's no doing reason anyone. That, any it's not doing anybody an good. So, and I understand that. But we we will come up with a budget, and. Uh, and uh, we'll try to have money in there in case there's a problem. Right. You know, I'd like to. I think it's wise to yeah. see, you know, if, if it goes down and it's X amount of money and, we, well, we can't have that, we can't fix it because we don't have the money, then right. then what do you do? So, right. but, Just you know, you don't want, I, we, we had, a, you know, they're rational taxpayers. They know who they are. And uh, they, they were concerned that we're going to have millions in there. And uh, I don't believe that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't see spending it. We won't spend it as long as I'm on the board. <coughs> I believe the same with you, gentlemen, that we will not waste money. We've been doing this basically the same people have been doing this f for years. For years. And, and we, we had a shoestring budget when we started. Right. And it's not just because we have money to, you know, that has built and up thanks to the taxpayers wanting to this upgrade. But we mean, also haven't gone crazy. No, we haven't. We have we bought what, what we would have replaced anyways. Right. You know, but we just... You know, before we would just have to let it build up and buy. Now, granted, you know, we there's also Channel 13 that takes us, you know, a good portion. Mm -hmm. So they have their needs, we have our needs, and we're gonna they're gonna they'll have their budget and we'll have ours, and we'll see what's left, and then they can negotiate. We can negotiate with Comcast. The thing is, if you wanna, I think if you if you say you know talk to Comcast and say, hey, we only want you to take. I think I forget what, what percentage, like two percent or whatever. They well, we want to take one percent. Well, we'll say fine. We'll just pocket the rest. Is they're not going to give it back to the Correct. Subscri subscribers? Right. They're just not. Right. And that's that's business. But that's if they want to take it out, put it towards something in the town. You know, say okay, cap it. You know, so we only have <coughs> X amount in there, and then the rest goes towards the general fund. We'd have to renegotiate that whole contract for that we, to happen. We would, it, but. It, that's that's not our decision. We're we're advisory board, so that's that's going to have to be up with the selectmen. But we'll come up with a uh, a um, a budget that we that that can work and mm -hmm. and keep us going without you know without a problem. So and not waste money because we're just not going to do it. You know. Uh, the, in that, uh, I was going to ask the permission of the board to. Uh, get in touch with other cable. I, I know uh, other uh, peg stations and uh, about what they're paying their tax. Okay, because uh, we obviously can't find them. Nobody wants to come here and work. I mean, we have the same people for the last, I don't know, 10 years. So it's been a long time, and we'd like to get some new blood here, some younger people, uh, but nobody seems to want to do it for maybe because of the price. So I know nor what Northampton pays, and I know what Bedford pays, and uh, so I'm going to reach out to Exeter and some other small towns, maybe Plastow, and, and talk to their chairman, their director, whoever, and see if they're willing to give us what they pay their tax, so we can maybe match that, or or an average of that, and uh, entice some people to come and join. Sounds like a great idea. The yeah. town just big did a big salary survey for yeah, cause a it's, bunch of employees, so there's yeah. no reason we shouldn't do that. The same Something thing, similar. so we can entice some people here. Mm -hmm. because I hate to say it, when this did start, everybody knows that it was a volunteer board. It and is. But it was mainly people, I won't say mainly retired, it was people that were still working at the time, but there were retired people on there that had the time to do it. Well, we'd like to do more, you know, but right now, I mean, we're stretched thin. We're, we are the, the, the advisory board and the... Uh, 
And the techs. And the operators, correct. And the operators. Right. So we also gets, work full-time jobs. We all, yeah. And it's, it can be, you know, it's, coming here a couple nights a week. and It's not just 40 hours a week for any of us. So it would be nice to have some more people interested, especially when we get a new studio, to, uh, to um, you know, work here. It would be, it'd be exciting, especially for some young kids, you know, that either at the SST or, uh, you know, studying this, and if they want to work some nights. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. I haven't heard anything back. Well, uh, uh, okay. and we're also thinking that, that at some point we, we would contact some of the universities and maybe do some internships right. or some... Right. You know, that could be great. It, it'll be, it'll, right, you know, so. now I don't think it would be for any college kid to come by would, at this current rate, current station, they'd be like, wow. Well, Okay, <laughs> yeah, but once it's all up and certainly some more help there. Right. Uh, there's a potential for more help there as far right. as you know, especially well, the outside shooting that kind of thing. That right. they, the exit in learning television and try to leverage that. Mm -hmm. The Exeter program has got digital technologies classes, mm -hmm. right, with their own television studio. Yeah. for high school age kids. Right, we were hoping to get a couple of the kids, but I don't know and if we were late or what, but uh, she's, she was going to get back to me, but she hasn't. I, well, know. I'm just wondering, I mean, as far as um, to let her know, to let the, the teacher know, the instructor who's teaching that class, that this is what we have coming down the line as far as new hardware is coming. In. Oh, I've told them. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I wrote her an email and told her what we were doing and everything. And uh, she she was going to talk to the teacher, the lady that, you know, talked to Lee. Right. I can't remember her name offhand. It was Lori. Lori. Yeah. And uh, she was going to, you know, give it right to the the uh, the instructor and uh, see what happens. And I she was going to, you know, was hoping But hopefully the back. pay as well yeah, it might be, help. Right. I mean, yeah, I would hope so, yeah. But we'll have to... I just want to get your permission to uh, go out and ask, and, and you know, I don't you want to. You want it. a motion? Yeah, I don't, yeah, a motion. I'll make that motion that we allow you to go to whatever, 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 whatever yeah. local, you know, channel twenty-two type stations are out there to find out what their pay rates are right. currently are. Right, and maybe that's for their tucks. I will second that motion. Okay, all in favor? Good. All right, I'll take care of that. Um, anything that you guys? No. no. All right. Well, I have a. I Paul have Paquette thing. was supposed. To, excuse me. Just one thing. Sure. The town website. Mm -hmm. We don't have a selection on there for our committee. The town. Oh, a selection. As far as budget committee selectmen. The cable advisory <coughs> isn't on there, so therefore we there's not a place for us to put agendas and minutes oh, and stuff okay. like that I'll on there. Okay, take care of that. Uh, there's a the cable renewal, I think is what it's called. Yeah, that's that's another. Uh, there's nothing there, anyway. Well, it's gonna it's being formed uh, right now. They were the the selectmen were talking about but that. But we don't have a selection in that list. Of, of okay. this board oh, okay. on there. All right. So I mean, if we had to do minutes, we have no place to put them. All right. All right. Well, we'll take. I'll see if I can. T I'll talk to Christy uh, tomorrow about that, or Christ Christina, or Christy. Well, I wasn't to. sure because the person at the library is the one that manages oh, really? the. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, if you look at that and it says if oh, there's any right. corrections. Oh, Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> they're the ones. Well, maybe they don't have the information that we need to. But, but, no. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. All right. We'll have to get that straight. If I could jump in here for just one second, um, just uh, this is just for informational purposes. Um, the town has been, uh, or I, I probably should say, the IT department has been directed um, to um, to combine all the websites in town um, into one area, um, and they're working that oh, right okay. now. So. Um, uh, so that the look is consistent and um, some of the other things that, uh, that have been concerns um, are addressed. I believe they have, are working with the company to provide that service um, since the IT department is, you know, just two guys and right. that's a, probably a full-time job or more. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but oh, sure. um, I believe that's going to happen here in the next um, month, month and a half. Okay. Um, so. The the VO, in all likelihood, um, our VOD services um, will end up on that website or, or on a page of that website um, from um, the words I've received from the IT department on that. So, with that said, <clears throat> uh, certainly it'd be a good time to address that. Right. Yeah. When mm -hmm. They're doing all that transition over to, right, to those new talk. sites and can make a, con a consistent um, presentation of the, the, web, of the web pages. Right. All right, so I'll talk to Paul about it then. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably the best. Yeah. So if it's something you can add to it. Right. We just need to be out front of it. Right. So he, he's, yeah, before he starts doing it all, so he can, he'll have a, a note to do it. Okay. Right. I'm all set. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so, speaking of Paul, Paul is going, he, he could make it tonight, um, but Paul had, had told me that he'd like to resign from the, the advisory board, simply because it's just, he's, he's, he's got a lot on his plate uh, with just work, and it, it just, it just, it's hard for him to do both. And uh, so he, he wanted to step down, he wanted to ask me to, uh, he could make it tonight, I, I, family commitment, but uh, uh, he wanted to step down tonight. So um, I don't know what the procedure is for that. I think, mean, you know, well, they're not here, but I think he can just, you know, he just wants to step down. So I. I, I Similar I, to what Brad did. Right. But I mean, it's not a, I don't think it's a motion or anything, or accept right. his res resignation. I guess we can accept his res resignation. So. Um, I would like to make a motion that we accept Paul's resi resignation from the advisory board. I'll second that motion. Okay. All in favor? And to that, I have a gentleman in the audience who's been waiting patiently, and he, I've known uh, Dave Morrison for quite a while. He does our basketball games, and he, years ago, expressed interest in coming on the board uh, when there was a vacancy. Uh, Dave has been in the tech field, am I right? For most of his career, he's now retired Verizon. for Verizon. So he's not he's 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 not per se a a television man, but he's he's a technical he he knows technology. So neither were we. And neither were we <laughs> either. Yeah, right. Um, so uh, and I, I I like I said I've known Dave for many years, and uh, and like I said he's volunteered his time as an announcer for the last. Five years or so. Yeah, so a long, 2000, yeah, for a long time. Uh, volunteer, no pay or anything. So, but he'd like to get on the board, you know, do his uh, his public service, and uh, he enjoys the whole TV thing. So I, I was hoping uh, we could uh, bring him aboard to take Paul's place, since, like I said, he's been waiting for years to get on. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you want to make a motion, I'll second yeah, it. I'd like to make a motion to, to accept Dave Morrison on the advisory, uh, cable advisory com uh, committee. I'll uh, second that motion. All in favor? Come on up. <coughs> big chair. Big chair, you get to see the big chair. So. And, Welcome. And don't be offended by me not voting. You gotta understand I'm not on the board. That's what I figured. He's just grumpy. Well, yeah. Glad to have you, Dave. I know you've been well, that's true too. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. All right. Um, with that, uh, I don't really have anything else um, right now. I mean we'll we'll try to have another update. Uh, uh, maybe, well, we can't really during, maybe just before the, uh, the start of construction. And we're going to try, I'm going to see if we can get Nick to do a little bit of videotaping during so people can see what's going on, you know, behind the scenes, because he's, uh, he's going to be our, almost our intern, I guess, for the, for the, uh, for the summer doing a lot of filming. Almost start now with the new, well, you should get the old desk in there, and now he's got the new desk in right, there. Right, right, you can show You go that. from there. Right, and you can put together yeah. something, a little montage of, what's going on mm -hmm. and so people can see how it's changing see how what it was and what it's going to be right so but uh do i have a motion to adjourn or if there's nothing i'll make else? a motion to adjourn i'll second that motion all that in favor we're done <laughs>